Hi, SuperSpruce here, back with another Enter and Wrenches New Game Plus 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 video. It was a 201, and it's been a while since last time I actually did gameplay, or episode 199, and let's see, I have 470 sextillion bosonic antimatter. I think that's a record, honestly, and that's with only six bosonic upgrades, except I can get it all the way up to nine here. This one is huge. Like, it, it really gives me a lot of dial at a time, which really buffs photon stuff. This one is important as well. Actually, this one doesn't seem all that good. And then this one is you, you get more color quarks based on meta antimatter. That does really help with, like, balsonic watts and especially balsonic antimatter here. And if I see how much I can even do here, this is 3.75 million levels. Let's see if I'm, if I'm close to any. I probably want to get eternity balsonic runes at this point. So... I'll do that. I will also get this. And maybe I should have gotten that. Because it's only 1,000. But whatever. I'll just... I'll do that. I'll... Um, I could oscillate the Z-Bos and Or... Oh yeah. This is way better. Look at this. This is insanity. I, I think I just spent a crazy amount of time oscillating the Z-Bos. Which allows me to... Yeah. Get a ridiculous amount of... W plus bosons. So, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what I want to be doing. I could, probably should just get some levels of this. Um, just so I don't need to worry about that. But, yeah, maybe I should even try to go for ghostly bosonic runes. I need five here to get this upgrade. Which I may want. I'm, I probably should just go into big rip, honestly. That's probably the best idea here. While I, I grind the bosons, I also should probably use bosonic battery. Okay, that was too much. I'm real. I'm. I'm. Okay, let's see. Where's a good point? Okay, this is roughly equilibrium. So I will do that to increase bosonic speed. I'll go into big rip here. I probably. I, I have, oh, I have 107 rewards. I didn't even know that. I. I don't know. I thought I was only about 100, but whatever. I'm gonna get 111 here. Achieve decay, I'm up to 13 radioactive decays, which is near the record. Could get a crazy amount of neutrinos, but I mean, I already have a crazy amount of neutrinos, so that isn't that important. Probably should just go out of big rip. This will allow me. Oh, I think I'll be able to get more antimatter than before. Like, I think I was at E300 quadrillion, but now I'm going to reach E306 quadrillion. Slightly better. And then maybe if I convert W minus to W plus. I need to slow this down. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get a ton of bosonic runes here. It's, I still need like millions though if I want to get any of the upgrades. I don't even have the you gain 1% of um, space shards on big rep per second upgrade. So probably should get that or I even could, could just wait for enough bosonic antimatter. And also, this is probably a good amount of level, so I will max this. It's actually not that good. It, but it, I guess it increased my bosonic antimatter production by like 6 or 7%. I'm up to E308 quadrillion, so that is 1 quadrillion times infinity, according to infinity, infinity notation. I'm out of bosonic battery, unfortunately, but that shouldn't be too bad. I do have actually enough ultraviolet light to do a light empowerment, which is interesting. I'm not sure if I should do it. I think, isn't there the one achievement that essentially it says light empowerments no longer reset photons error resources. That still forces a ghostify though. So I still may want to ghostify. I'm guessing, I, I don't think ghostify really, well, doing a ghostify will mean that that much. Maybe I can, I can yeah, now I can oscillate the Z-Bos on a lot faster. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to go into Big Rip, and I'm going to Ghostify again. I really don't think I should do anything else at this point. I already have these upgrades. I'm not even going to get a ton of stuff, because I already have. Like, even with Ghostifies, I... Let's see. I, where, where even is it? Um, I have... Where, where's my Ghostified stat? I know it's somewhere. I can't even see it. Oh, it says... Okay, here it is. E39 times. It's not even going to be that much. I'm not going to get any ghost particles. I will get some neutrinos, but it's really the light empowerment that's going to just force ghostify. 
So I think it's a good idea just to Ghostify and then do the Light Empowerment here because it won't reset um, other or like photon stuff. I mean, I think I guess it is resetting Dark Matter and all that, but actually I think that's just the Ghostify. So I can I can already get to 109 rewards. It's just a good sign, and also 13 radioactive decays. That's that means that it's probably good at this point. Um, and I'm back up to E300 quadrillion antimatter. So at this point, ghostifying barely even does anything. Um, the problem is that it doesn't even do much um, good. So it means that's not. It doesn't do all that much bad, but it isn't doesn't do all that much good either. So I think what I want to do. You can see, I'm at 1.8 million eternity balsonic runes. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get enough so I can get 2.5 million and then get five ghostly balsonic runes. I'm already at two. If I can get that, that'll allow me to unlock a new boost. Um, every third light empowerment from light empowerment seven all the way to 25. So that is something I definitely want. I'm also just going to try big gripping again because now I'm a, like, a little farther. Yeah, I knew I was going to get more re rewards. I can even get 112 rewards. And 13 Rain Active Decays, can't get any any more than that. So I guess I just should go back out of Big Rip and just... Yeah, okay, here it is. 2.5 million Eternity Balsonic Runes. Now I need to get the Ghostly ones. It still take about 30 seconds each, which is kind of annoying, but um, that I just have to deal with that. I guess I could try to speed it up using, like, Balsonic Overdrive. So, like... And maybe now it takes 25 seconds instead of 30 seconds each. And this will allow me to get another Balsonic upgrade. I'm also, almost at a, at a new antimatter record. I didn't even know that. I don't know why I thought I got like E320 quadrillion antimatter somewhere, but nope. I'm out of, I'm out of rec record amount of antimatter. And this has now the time to finish writing your full antimatter amount at a rate of three digits per second would span 23% of the of our universe's lifespan or at least from its creation to now so now up to four bosonic runes and here it is five which okay I, do, I don't want that that is very useless versus like this this is gonna be way more powerful i mean it's not it's not as powerful as i might think it is but it's still enough to just get en enough stuff to, that'll just boost everything. So now I'm not exactly sure what I want to go for. There is the two, 20 million Eternity Balsonic Runes. And that, yeah, that, that may take quite a while to get. I will try to um, get more W plus bosons here. And also try to get some Balsonic Battery. Trying to think where a good equilibrium is. Maybe like just here is good. I'm even gonna try big ripping again. I know I keep doing this, but when it, the last bosonic upgrade may help big rips. Uh, nope. I'm so close to E187, um, which allows me a, another reward, but can't do that. And I do have more spins, but again, it's not enough for radioactive decay. I am pretty close to a radioactive decay, but I don't think I can quite make it. So, I mean, I could even I could even try ghostifying again because this would be more neutrinos. So, I mean, I'm really not sure. I also probably should get levels of this because I'm far away from 200 ghost label sonic runes to get this upgrade and the other one is infinity. Other rune here is infinity bosonic runes. So, this divides the requirement of Higgs which means that I think it looks like it's currently now divided by 2.05. So that means um, I think to get another Higgs boson, I only need uh, not not 100 septillion antimatter, but like 47 or 48 septillion, which is better. So yeah, you can see now I'm really trying to get faster extracting time, except that just... It's really not doing much, unfortunately. I mean, I guess it is doing something, but still taking, like, 
44,000 runes per second. If I want to get 20 million, that still takes... Actually, it's not that bad. It's like... Uh, 7 minutes? I mean, where... And then with, with where, to, where I already have... With what I already have, it's probably another 6 minute wait. So... I, I can deal with this, honestly. And also, I'm increasing the... Like, runes... Like, the Zebos and here, and I'm still in big grip for some reason. It's probably because I'm just trying to get this Radiox. It's okay. I'm, I'm pretty close. I'm up to... I think I need... I'm trying to... Yeah, I, I only need two more doublings, or two more of the middle upgrades to get the, the desired Radiox Decay. Maybe I should even just go out of Big Rip and then, like, quickly, or not quickly, but, like, just get as much antimatter as I can here just to get a new record, and then go back into Big Rip, because I think that allows me to get one more Nano Field reward. Okay, I'm still stuck at 112, but whatever. Maybe this spin game will be a little better. I'm really not sure. I'm just trying to wait out this time to get the 20 million Bosonic runes so I can get this upgrade here. After that, I'm probably going to actually want to get, I um, want to keep pushing all the way to 37.5 million Eternity Bosonic runes so I can get the 7.5 million I need for Electron's boost the per 10 meta dimension multiplier. Okay, it looks like I'm going to get a radioactive decay in the first branch here, which is green. And I think the others will soon follow. Um, it's sort of weird seeing... Okay, there it is. Um, thir 14 radioactive decays. That is going to definitely just help boost everything. And maybe even just going out of Big Rip and just going immediately back into Big Rip. May... Yeah, 113 rewards. I just, I just wanted that last reward. It's probably not even going to do much, but whatever. I'm going to get it anyway, just so I can try to um, try to just boot ever so slightly boost this extra, like the, the rate that I'm getting these um, runes. And now I'm stuck without Bosonic Battery, which means I may try to just get this just so I can get some Bosonic Battery going. Isn't even that much, but... This is a 1.4 times speed boost, so I guess I guess I want that. And okay, I, I want this 1.56 times speed boost. Still not really doing much, but whatever. I I'll just deal with it. I'm up to, all the way up to e324 quadrillion antimatter, which is pretty crazy. And I'm now close enough in Bosonic antimatter that I can probably just do this final push to the amount I need to get another Higgs. Except I don't, I really don't think I should just immediately do it at, at, to get a single Higgs boson. So, it should be any second now that I can get it. Oh, is it because I'm not using the enchant? Yeah, I'm not using the enchant, that's why. Um, but now I can do it if I want, but honestly, it's not worth, not worth it at this point. I, it's not worth it to do that much for a single Higgs boson. Like, I feel like, you can see, I, I got two last time. I feel like I can just do it. I, if I just push farther ahead, I can maybe get more than one Higgs boson. Because the Higgs bosons barely do anything on their own. That That's the problem. I wish Higgs bosons really had a powerful effect on their own. It's, it's really only because of some of the um, bosonic upgrades that Higgs bosons are doing anything at all. Okay, now we've hit our soft cap of bosonic antimatter, which I don't think, I, I think it should try to push a little past. It's, I'm really not sure what the optimal strategy is, but I don't really even care what the optimal strategy is. I just want to, I mean, maybe we can try to just experiment. I mean, I definitely want, like, these, these two bosonic upgrades are very achievable in, like, this one, I'm now probably 30 seconds away from, and this one, I'm probably 10 to 15 minutes away from, so, and like, even this one, I'm probably something, like, getting 200 Eternity Bosonic Runes will probably take somewhere close to, like, an hour, but it's still only an hour away, I, I, I feel like I can definitely get this here we go. This is this will definitely help things. I now have way more space shards. 
allowing me to get way farther, okay, not way farther, but farther in Big Rip, which means just more of everything. I'm even relatively close to another radioactive decay. I'm like, what is it, four upgrades out. Um, I'm not, I don't, I'm not really sure if I want to get this radioactive decay. I, I don't think it's worth it, but whatever. I'll just keep doing this. Okay, I'm, I'm in Big Rip again, and I, I just noticed that I can get another light empowerment. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, again, just Ghostify for the Neutrinos and the Ghostifies, and then get the light empowerment. So, yeah, two light empowerments in a single episode, and I'm not even really going, like, just purely going for them. I'm just trying to get as much as I can here. I'm 101 rewards, and... Um, 12 radioactive decays. I should, probably, I should probably focus a little more on Bosonic Lab stuff, especially just the oscillation of the Z boson, because that's going to allow me to get um, better W plus and W minus bosons at this point. The Bosonic Antimatter production is pretty slow, but it's probably just because I just need to enter and exit Big Rip a few times. And yeah, back up to 114 rewards, which is the max, and yeah, 14 radioactive decays. Not really close to the 15th. I was really close to the 15th before, like a single upgrade away. But I think I just want to do a couple more cycles of going in and out of Big Rip. And now up to all the way up to almost E330 quadrillion antimatter. So obviously, obviously doing a maybe if it's not the optimal strategy, it is a good strategy. So yeah, E161 billion antimatter in big rip maybe i can even get um, 115 rewards no it's still 114 but uh yeah now i'm again a single upgrade away from the radioact from the 15th radioactive decay and then once i get that that will definitely boost things quite a quite a bit and like i'll be able to get maybe up to as much as e470 spins yeah, here it is e470 spins allow me to get just bunch more stuff just, just ever so slightly better i'll probably be able to get a few bosonic watts out of this because i'm 15.23 but now i will get all the way up to 15.29 so yay that's like a what is what is that like 0.5 percent increase in the bosonic speed but i guess every little bit counts so that's why i will do so i'm now getting really close to enough attorney bosonic runes to get the upgrade here so that's what I will do. I could try just seeing, um, like if I go into Bosonic Enchants, if I go into Use Enchants, go here, it's still one um, Bosonic Rune, or not Bosonic Rune, but one Higgs Boson. So it's not really the best idea to do that. But now I have enough Eternity Bosonic Rune, so I should switch to Quantum Bosonic Runes, and all I need is 7.5 million. At the rate I'm getting them right now, I'm getting about 12,000 every second, or 12,500 every second. This means it will take 10 minutes to get to um, 7.5 million quantum balsamic runes, which really isn't that bad. And also, while I'm waiting, I can actually get more um, electron upgrades, because I just noticed that the, ne the next um, Higgs boson upgrade here is... Higgs bosons reduce the cost of all electron upgrades. This would be one, minus 1.17 levels worth. So I'm, I just decided to go to electrons, and boom, I can get a bunch of stuff. I can get this and this. So that means I'm now getting 48.75 electrons per sacrificed galaxy. Maybe the best thing here is just go in and out of Big Rip. I don't think it has any effect in Big Rip, but it think I think I will it will have an effect once I get back out of Big Rip. So, I also just want to get as much as I can. E-475 spins. Now I probably should be able to get slightly more antimatter than before with those new electron upgrades. And I'm up to, I'm up to maybe 20% um, of the way to one point, or enough, enough quantum bosonic runes to get the upgrade. And also most forget, um, I... I forgot, I was at 195, if I big crunched, um, it would give me, str strangely give me more of it for more antimatter, but doesn't really seem to be doing that. I could just like big crunch or eternity 
just to try to get more banked eternities because I mean okay that actually isn't that much but I, th I thought it might actually give a lot of banked infinities and all that but whatever I mean I think mine might have gotten some more banked infinities I don't really think it matters all that much to get the banked infinities anymore but I'm gonna keep doing that so okay finally we're, we now have enough quantum sonic runes to get this upgrade which instantly gives me a jump in it looks like about 15 quadrillion orders of magnitude of antimatter yeah just casually saying 15 quadrillion orders of magnitude and this could help big rip runs yeah it does a ton I, 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 didn't, I haven't, didn't even read what the upgrade was all about. It, was, it's, it boosts per 10 meta dimension multiplier. I'm not exactly sure how that affects big rip runs, but it does. So 116 rewards, E480 spins, and I think what I want to do at this point is get Ghostly Ball Sonic Runes going. Because um, they take, it looks like they're taking about 6 seconds to get. And. While I could try to get the next upgrade here, um, I don't think it's all that important because getting two upgrades, um, electron upgrades, was pretty weak. Like, I, I barely saw any... Actually, I saw a decrease in the antimatter. And that must be some weird um, thing with it. But with, like, New Game++, plus plus plus, just how all the mechanics are so interconnected. But, yeah, I, it's not just that. But it's just so weak. It, I think it did give a little boost in antimatter, but it was like not. It was like 500 trillion orders of magnitude. So getting this, which is about four and a half levels, is going to give me a tiny little boost. Not really going to do much. More important is that I can get two Higgs. That's actually pretty important there. And I think the more bosons I'm getting here means the more sonic antimatter I'm getting. So I, I can actually really pump up the um, overdrive speed at this point. Actually, that's a little bit too fast. Maybe this is a little better. And this will allow me to get a lot more because now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to um, disable this and enable that. And just trying to see if I can get any more bosonic antimatter because of that. And that means I do want to um, because I, I really do I don't think this upgrade is worth it at all. I think a better idea is to just spend it all into like here which will allow me to yeah, this is now going to be three times faster than i was before which will allow me to get more bosonic antimatter just more everything like also even just faster runes and also i'm going to get 17 levels of this let's see if this does anything um it's still two i'm really i really want to try to get three um higgs bosons but i'm not sure if that's actually possible Another thing I could do is um, switch to using, I'm um, get, getting like this, so I can, like I also, I will make the overdrive speed a little slower here, and that'll allow me to get some levels of this upgrade, and that's going to be enough, like it looks like what I'm doing is enough to maybe double the speed that I get, um, or uh, double the oscillation speed. That's pretty good, because now want to do this, especially with, like, the three times boost, like, how anti-prions are used, um, that's going to be, it's going to allow me to get some more Z bosons. So, I will also just get this. I don't think it's really doing that much. I'm just going to get, um, enough levels to this to get it to, like, 2,500. I could also, um, get a whole lot of levels of this, which gives me slightly more bosonic against man. It's really not doing all that much, though. So, yeah, it's, it's a little disappointing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep getting a few um, levels of these, but yeah, I guess I'm just gonna switch back to um, doing the um, doing these because now once I decay like the W plus spells and all that, and now I'm getting one bosonic rune every three seconds and. I know it can definitely pump up the overdrive speed again. So, like, if I was to do it, like, here, at 2.44 times, I think I can keep up with with that if I'm, like, constantly monitoring um, how I do, how I get this. 
going. So maybe now with the bills I have answer matter I have, maybe now I can get three? No. For whatever reason, I, I, I see like 10 for a second, but then it goes down. Um, I mean, I, I know it couldn't actually time that, but it, it's an interesting prospect. And now I'm actually getting a um, ghostly Bosonic Rune every two seconds. So this is really good. I I could even, I'm just going to try one level of, of this. It does basically nothing. That's 1.01 times, and that's for five ghostly Bosonic Runes. So, no thanks. That is something I don't want. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set the overdrive speed to something really small, like just this, um, just to maximize how much I can do with it. And then I'm just going to grind Ghostly Balsonic Runes for the next while here. And just try to get an, as many levels of this as I can possibly get, so I can get as much Balsonic, or enough Higgs Bo- or not- the, as much Higgs bosons as I can possibly get here. So I know this might be a long episode, but yeah, that, this is what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. I mean, this is the end of the episode. So hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.